Hey friends, my name is Nimi Vincent. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here with you to teach the computer basics. I hope that this video will be helpful for the students. In this video, I will be explaining about secondary storage devices. I hope that you know that the computer's memory is divided into two types primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory are two types random access memory and read only memory. So, why do you need secondary memory or secondary storage devices? Since primary storage has a limited storage and is not permanent, we use secondary storage devices or secondary memory. Secondary storage devices are used to store large amount of data permanently. In my another video, I have explained about the computer memory and various types of computer memory. You can subscribe to my channel and you can get lots of information regarding computer basics and computer learning. Let's see various types of secondary storage devices. In this video, I will share the information regarding hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu-ray disk, pen drive or flash drive and memory card. Let's have a look at hard disk. Here you can see the pics of hard disk. Hard disk is a magnetic disk on which you can store computer data and programs. Hard disk hold more data and they are faster than any other storage device. A hard disk can store up to 1500 gigabytes of data. That's really very high memory capacity, right? What are floppy disk? Floppy disk also known as floppy diskette or simply disk. It's a type of disk storage composed of a disk of thin and flexible magnetic storage medium sealed in a rectangular plastic enclosure. Floppy disks are read and written by a floppy disk drive. Here, as shown in this image, the floppy disks are available in various sizes as 8 inch, 5 quarter inch and 3 and half inch. These type of storage devices were a popular form of data storage and exchange from the mid of 1970s into the first years of the 21st century. These formats are usually handled by older computer systems. Nowadays, very rarely only these kind of floppy disks being used. Now, let us see another type of secondary storage device which is called CD. The letters CD represents compact disk. A compact disk is a digital optical disk data storage format that was co-developed by Philips and Sony companies and released in 1982. The format was originally developed to store and play only sound recordings but was later adapted for storage of data. It can store up to 700 megabytes of data. In one CD, we can store an audio file which has the length of 80 minutes time period. 
Now, what is DVD? The letters DVD represents Digital Versatile Disc. A DVD is a digital format which is an optical disc. It was invented and developed in 1995 and released in late 1996. It can store any kind of digital data and is widely used for software and other computer files as well as video programs watched using DVD players. Blu-ray disc, that's another kind of secondary storage device. It's often known as Blu-ray. It's a digital optical disc for data storage. It was designed to supersede the DVD format and is capable of storing several hours of video in high definition. Its storage capacity is up to 300 gigabytes. Wow, that's amazing, right? The name Blu-ray refers to the blue laser, which is actually a violet laser. These lasers are used to read the disc, which allows information to be stored at a greater density than is possible with the longer wavelength red laser used for DVDs. Now, what is pen drive or flash drive here you can see the picture of a pen drive a usb flash drive is a data storage device that includes flash memory with an integrated usb interface it is typically removable rewritable portable and much smaller than an optical disk it can store up to 2 terabytes of data. That's fantastic, right? Now, the last type of secondary storage we are going to discuss is memory card. Here we can see the picture of a memory card which is so tiny. A memory card or memory cartridge is an electronic data storage device used for storing digital information typically using flash memory. These are commonly used in portable electronic devices such as digital cameras, mobile phones, computers, tablets, PDAs, means personal digital assistants portable media players, video game consoles, electronic keyboards, and digital pianos. I hope that all of you understood various types of secondary storage devices and their features. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to post your comments and valuable suggestions. Please hit the bell notification icon to get the notifications regarding my latest videos. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.